Mr. Satoshi Nadimura is a Chief Engineer, Senior Manager, New Energy X Tech Department, and Next Energy Business Division, Energy Systems at Mitsubishi Heavy Industry. So, Mr. Satoshi Nadimura, uh, screen and times are yours. So, thank you for the introduction, and uh, I'm uh, appreciating the always uh, always uh, NEDO supporting for the uh, our hydrogen and ammonia project. Today, I, I will introduce. As the uh, hydrogen power generation to the beyond zero society. That means the hydrogen gas turbine and the ammonia gas turbine. Today, I will introduce the, our uh, hydrogen gas turbine technologies. Then, so first of all, uh, I will uh, explain about the uh, uh, company itself. So uh, Mit uh, Mitsubishi Group has a, uh, many uh, hydrogen related uh, Subsidiary uh, companies uh, like uh, offshore wind and the compressor and iron making, and then the ammonia and ethanol uh, capture, uh, producing and CO2 capture. And uh, so we have the uh, space rocket uh, technology. The Mitsubishi Power is uh, the core subsidiary com company in the Mitsubishi heavy industries. Then we produce the uh, power generating uh, equipment. Then, <clears throat> sorry, then last November, uh, MHI Group announced the uh, energy transition uh, scenario to the, uh, to the 2050s. So reducing the carbon uh, CO2 and uh, to, uh, CO2 recovery. Then uh, our uh, energy transition uh, uh, has us several steps of the, uh, in the scenario. And then today I introduced the uh, established the hydrogen value chains. Then, okay. Then it's, uh, this slide shows the, uh, how, the, how to say, thermal power generation equipment, uh, zero carbon scenarios. Current uh, thermal power plant uh, using the so many of the thermal power plant using the coal. Then a big effort is reducing the uh, CO2 from the such a coal plant, improving the uh, efficiency and also the coal fire and the uh, CO2 free uh, fuels like ammonia or biomass. Another thing is the, uh, we develop the high efficiency natural gas firing gas having combined systems. Then finally, we are going to the um, hydrogen or ammonia uh, using power plant. Of course, the not only the big engines, so also we can uh, apply the hydrogen SOFC. That is our uh, final goal to the zero emission technologies for the power generation. And target date is 2030. So uh, then we have uh, several uh, uh, products for the power generation. One is a uh, boiler, coal firing boiler. Then now we are uh, testing the ammonia biomass coal firing. The large frame gas having combined cycle, like uh, 800 megawatts of large size gas turbines. Then 30% hydrogen co is available now. Now we are uh, developing the 100% firing uh, combustor for the, this uh, gas turbines. Then and late of the 2020s, the, uh, we, we realized the ammonia cracking gas turbine combined cycle. Then on the other hand, the small gas turbine has a little bit different uh, story. Then small, for the hydrogen, that is the same. 30% co-firing is the same. 100% firing also the, we can uh, realize in the 2025. Then in small gas turbine, the, we can, uh, now we are developing the ammonia direct firing uh, gas turbine. So that is a, a more simple uh, system compared to the cr cracking systems. Then, uh, SOFC is uh, now we are developing the large size one, one megawatt size. 
Um, so it's two firings now under the development. Okay, so this is here from the uh, from here. Uh, I explain about the technology itself. Then, so using the hydrogen gas turbine has uh, some benefit for the hydrogen societies. The big one is the uh, minim minimize. We can minimize the investment of the uh, for the power plant. So. Um, hydrogen gas turbines, only difference of the, from the natural gas is the combustor portions. So that means current uh, gas turbine user can convert the uh, minimum cost to the, hydro, uh, to the hydrogen by the minimum cost. Then another thing is our gas turbines are huge. So uh, hydrogen consumption itself is a huge amount. So uh, it can help the uh, infrastructure uh, construction and, and the expanding. And then that helps also the uh, hydrogen cost. The another good thing is it, uh, so many hydrogen carriers needed in Japan. So not only the liquid hydrogen, uh, another, uh, another uh, group uh, considering the using the MCH, then some people uh, considering the ammonia for the uh, hydro hydrogen carrier. The, in case of the uh, gas turbine, we don't we don't need the gas turbine. Don't need the pure. Uh, don't need high purity hydrogen. That dirty hydrogen can available. That means. It, um, we can uh, cut the hydrogen uh, purifying uh, cost. And that can also help the uh, cost, uh, cost reduction. Now another thing is the gas turbine system has a very high uh, uh, res demand response. Then that can help the renewable energy uh, grid. So renewable energy is a little bit unstable. So uh, hydrogen gas turbine can cover that uh, supplying systems. That is, a, uh, those are the gas turbine, hydrogen gas turbine's benefit for the using. Then, just then I told you the uh, hydrogen gas turbines, only the difference is the combustor portion in the gas turbine. Then we have the three types of the combustor, diffusion types and the premix type and the multi cluster types. Then, but the, our gas turbines, so designed for the retrofitable design. So we can change the switch, switch the uh, combustor in the service period. Then now we, uh, we have three types of combustor. Then, Diffusion combustor is already available to use for the NOx uh, hydrogen combustion. Uh, our hydrogen rich fuel uh, experience started from the 1970s. So using for the cogeneration for, or uh, um, especially for the petrochemical area, cogeneration or IGCC area. The current <clears throat> natural gas uh, gas turbine using this type of the dry Ronox premix combustor. Premix combustor means the air and the fuel the mix before the combustion. But the uh, hydrogen has a high uh, reaction rate. So uh, the hydrogen content is limited in, in 30%. And then, but uh, already uh, this combustor was finished uh, uh, Test and verification the under the needle uh, supporting. Then this is uh, available now. The <clears throat> next type is the multi cluster combustor, one of the uh, premix type combustion. Then target is the 100% hydrogen. Then now uh, we are developing this combustor. The design target of the finish of the design is 2025. Okay, then uh, those combustors can be used in the, uh, our, all our line 
gas turbine right now. So we have the uh, small gas turbine, the 40 megawatts, biggest one is uh, uh, 570 megawatts. So uh, those uh, gas turbine can use the hydrogen combustors. Then, of course, the co-firing co uh, is available in all gas turbines. Then in the future, we, we can use the 100% hydrogen combustor can be uh, used, okay? Then this is a test result in the co-firing, uh, 30% hydrogen co-firing combustors. Uh, it's which power has the uh, combustion test facility in the Takasago factory. The, that, that test fa fa facility can test the single can uh, combustor. Usually the, our combustor has the 16 or 22 combustor in, the, uh, in one gas turbine. Then we can test only one combustor in the in, in, in this test tree. But uh, our gas turbine has a 30, uh, 300 or 500 megawatts. But the only one gas uh, combustor need only one combustor, but it need huge energy. So we, we have such a big uh, facility. Then that is, this is the test result. So this is the co-firing rate. Then this is NOx emission. The increasing the hydrogen and the NOx is increasing because of the uh, hydrogen has the high uh, frame speed. So uh, high frame speed, uh, how to say, uh, loss the pre mixing time and length. Then so NOx is a little bit increasing, but still in the 25 ppm. The, this picture shows a multi cluster combustor. So uh, we shorten the uh, premix area to avoid the flashback phenomena. Then reducing, uh, avoiding the risk, risk of the flashback. But in that case, the, we need a small premixer. The, in this case, the 250 uh, premixer is needed. So this combustor is, uh, looks like uh, so rocket uh, engines. Then, Okay, then this combustor is now under the development, then 2025, uh, we can start the uh, engine verification or commercializing. The next topic is ammonia firing. Then ammonia has a good uh, hydrogen carrier and also the, not only the carrier, ammonia itself can be, uh, can use, can be used in the, for the fuel no CO2 emission, but uh, uh, ammonia combustion uh, has a high NOx emission. Then uh, we have uh, two choice. Uh, high efficiency large frame gas turbine. The, those gas turbine has a very high te firing temperature. So uh, that is the, makes a very high NOx emission. So cannot use the ammonia directly. So we add the, ammonia cracking system to use the gas turbine waste energy. Then apply the hydrogen combustor here. That is one uh, solution for the uh, large frame gas turbine. The small frame gas turbine has a really lower frame temperature. Then that can be, um, can manage the NOx emission by the combustion technology itself. Then, but the, Still, uh, NOx is a little bit higher than the natural gas firing, so we need a uh, SCR system, selective, selective uh, catalytic reactor. That means the denox systems in the HRSC. Then uh, this graph, uh, this slide shows the schematic of the ammonia cracking systems. Then ammon ammonia is cracked by the wet, uh, exhaust gas of the gas turbines. They supply the natural and uh, nitrogen and hydrogen they directly go to the gas turbine. Then, so the uh, reaction is like this. The ammonia cracking is a heat absorption uh, reaction. So fuel energy is increasing by the uh, this heat. So that means a new kind of the uh, heat recovery system. Theoretically, the, we can increase the 
summer efficiency of the gasoline combined cycle. But uh, uh, actual system need some heat loss. So now we are trying to reduce that heat loss. The ammonia cracking needs 600 degrees C uh, reacting temperature. That is good for the, our gas turbines. Our high efficiency gas turbine has a uh, 650 degrees C uh, exhaust temperature. That is good for this reaction. The reactor is like this, a kind of the shell and tube type uh, reactor. Okay, so then next is the ammonia direct combustion. Then last month we announced the, we start the development of the direct combustion system using the H25 40 megawatt gas turbines. Then this system, uh, ammonia combustion challenge for the ammonia combustion is the poor flammability and high NOx. Then we use the rich lean uh, two-stage combustor system in, the, in this engine. So air supply is separated in the two portion. Then rich zone and the lean zones here. Then this type of the combustor can reduce the NOx in 100 or some like that PPM in the NOx. Then finally, we use the uh, denox system in the HRSG. Okay. Then we have already we have some uh, uh, hydrogen GT project in, all, all over the world. Then uh, today uh, we go quickly go through the some uh, very fast one was uh, like this uh, project. So then this one is the same types of the project in the in the UK. They also the, we saw the hydrogen gas turbine already in the United States. Uh, this system is um, this hydrogen is supplied from the uh, salt cable domes uh, storage system. Okay. Then next is the solid oxide fuel cell SOFC. We have two types of the uh, SOFC. 200 kilowatt and one megawatt class. Then good, good thing of the SOFC is the fuel flexibility. Hydrogen and natural gas, biomass gas, like this gas can be used in, in, in the same uh, fuel cell. Uh, mixing is okay. That is a good portion of the, this, uh, these systems. And also the very high efficiency, the 20, uh, 53% in the power generation. Then already we have the several uh, uh, orders in, in Japan. And then last year we have first uh, abroad order from the, uh, Germany. Okay, next is the uh, uh, last page. Uh, uh, Mitsubishi Group has uh, uh, many uh, products in uh, related in the hydrogen. So primary in energy source, hydrogen production, transportation and storage. No, of course, high, uh, hydrogen usage in the power generation or gas engine or, or iron steel, uh, uh, iron steel factories. Uh, so uh, we can uh, make such uh, total, we can supply the total solution. Uh, using the, uh, various uh, products. That is my pro presentation. Thank you for your attention. Nato.